G'day guys and welcome back to another One Piece opening, the first one of 2024. Can you believe it's 2024 already? We're, I know we're a bit slow in terms of our openings when we come to uh, 2024, but don't worry, there'll be plenty more ahead. Today's opening is going to be slightly different to what we usually do, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail. Usually we're opening core sets, um, uh, other goodies by Bandai that contain some TC2 products, but today we're going to be opening up a bunch of tournament packs. So these are packs that we've picked up from attending events, winner packs and stuff like that we've gotten. Others we've kind of picked up um, when we found some good deals out on like Marketplace and things like that. Usually we save these kinds of packs for our shorts, so go check our shorts out if you haven't seen them already. But we haven't done shorts in a while and we've got a giant big stack in front of us, so we're going to be cracking open into these guys today. Now, for uh, today's giveaway, We'll have a quick squeeze down and hand cam here. We're going to be giving away some shank sleeves and a store championship 2023 participant pack. We're opening up some of these in the video today so you get to see possibly what you get out of those packs there. So if all you have to do to enter today's giveaway is one, like the video, two, be a subscriber to the channel, and three, let us know what your goals are for 2020. <laughs> Too many 20s. Let us know what your goals are for 20. 24 ours we're going to be opening a bunch of stuff that's going to be part of uh that here we're going to be looking at maybe for goals for us here on the channel as many stuff some memberships get a discord happening as well so let us know in the comment section below what you would like to see from that sort of stuff from us but we've talked way too much already for this video we haven't opened some stuff so let's crack into some goodies so as you can see here as we shift into hand cam we got a nice fat stack of packs here um, pop some stuff over to the side here. So we're going to start off with some uh, first anniversary tournament stuff. So for those of you who don't know, that's kind of replaced the uh, pre-release events for OPO5. Uh, and the winner did walk away with one of these Luffy. So as you can see down here, if I can get the lights not blind us with glare, got a first edition, uh, first edition, a first anniversary stamp down the bottom there. Um, so yeah, that's what the winner gets and we did manage to win ourselves one of these at the event that we attended. You do also get yourself a copy of this promo, Monkey D Luffy promo. Little Luffy also had that same first anniversary, if we get a bit closer, yeah, first anniversary stamp right there. So as you got to play in some of the events, you got some of the um, the first anniversary packs, which basically replaces the pre-release stuff, and then we've got some special dons as well. So let's crack into these. I'm gonna probably get the old trusty scissors for these packs, because all of them have like one or two cards in them in the pack. Don't worry, we're not gonna snip the top of the cards. Uh, and they become a little bit tricky to open. So let's, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna reveal it there. We've got a bit of a spoiler there already. So we got the bird zap. As you can see there, there we go, catch it in the light. It's got that first anniversary stamp. Usually it's a pre-release stamp. And the other one we got is an Inazuma. Great for those Bellow Betty decks there. You can see that one a little bit easier right there. So that is the first pack right there. Generally, these are just gonna contain your commons and uncommons. So uh, playable stuff at the top of my head? Mm, I don't really know. We'll see if we get any good playable things out of here. And oh, Robbie. Look at that there. And then we've got ourselves a Cobra. So I guess so far the only really playable one that you're probably going to see it, uh, a lot of play in terms of the deck that it's used is the Inazuma. Definitely used in the Bettys. Um, last pack that we have of this right here. So let's go to the last pack. We got ourselves a Captain McKinley. Not too bad there. And then we got ourselves a Lieutenant Spacey. So nothing super great out of those. Um, but yeah, cool to see those uh, there. Now we're gonna have a look at the special Don Pack. So these these are usually worth a, a little bit more. Um, so there's two different versions. As you can see, it's set on the back there. So hopefully we can pull one of each for us today here in the video. We've got ourselves the Luffy Don. To begin parts, you who will surpass you? So yeah, nice holographic one right there. We'll pop that up the back because we know that's that's a nice one. I believe the other one is a Yamato one, so hopefully we can pull that in this pack right here. Snip, 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 snippers. Okay, on to this next one. Yep, there it is, the Yamato one right there. So that's really nice to see. 
Nice to have one of each of those for the giant Don collection, which just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. Look, not complaining. That card's a bit high. Not complaining because we get some nice variety with our, our Dons. Okay, last of those Don ones. Let's see which one we get. Do we get another Luffy? Do we get another Yamato? And we get ourselves another Luffy Don right there. Cool to see. So we'll pop them up the top. Next up, we're going to be looking at a Judge Pack. Judge Pack Volume 1, we've only got a Volume 1 Judge Pack. Um, locals had some spare ones left over. Have been helping out with a little bit of judging. Nothing official there, so we copped one of these, which is nice. So, let's see what we get here. Ooh, the Okiku. So, probably was worth a lot more this one back when uh, Okiku did see a lot of play. So, but really good for those green decks. Nice little Judge stamp there so the volume one volume i think this is volume one and volume two right now that are available to us they both have the same stamp just different packs going on right there okay so we start gonna start going through the the tournament packs right here Let's see if i can actually think some of them might have some slightly different artworks when it comes to them but yeah we got one two three four and five so we're gonna cracking into to all of those there we'll start with the volume one volume one we're looking for uh, the Luffy is probably the best out of them. I think maybe the Yamato is actually creeping up in a bit of value there. And we got to get ourselves the uh, Law Promo right there. So not a bad one for blue decks um, on play. If you're playing six or more cards in their hand, you can add, they have to add one card from the top of their life to their hand. So yeah, nice to see some really good stuff for collectors out of that first volume. Um, tournament pack there so we just have one of those unfortunately we're going on to volume two which we also unfortunately only have one of um, a lot of those that we had were cracked in those shorts that we were talking about so definitely go check them out um, let's see what we get out of this one here the Ezo. so yeah volume two has some alternate arts Ezo is not a bad one 2k counter definitely used in any green deck right now green's not super popular but um, we do have some green shenanigans coming out in OPO6, so that will probably uh, suit quite nicely for when we see that. So, let's go on to Volume 3. So, Volume 3, basically what we're looking for here, we're looking for those Namis and those Bonnie Alts. Um, yeah, they're definitely quite nice. Um, so, see, we got this first one. We got the Bonnie Alt art there. Really good. The, the Supernova Searcher, that's nice to see there. We'll crack into another one, see what we've got. You guys get to go too much to locals, or is it mainly collectors that are watching this video here? I know uh, the, our audience is uh, a bit of both, some just collectors, some players there, as I scoot some rubbish aside. And then, okay, there's the Nami. So this is the, the Don manipulating Nami, not the Searcher Nami. Um, the Searcher Nami has about 500 different artworks, but the Don manipulating army, Don manipulating Nami. I don't know what sentence came out of my mouth before. I don't know how many artworks it has. Does it just have the two? Um, two might be three. There might be another one out there. Let's see what we get for this next one. Okay, who's who? All right. So uh, there's four different ones. So we, we might get a one of each of the cards for you here today. Um, this is actually our last pack of volume three. So let's see if we do get the last one. I can't remember what the last one is. Can't remember what the last one is. Let's crack it open, see if we do get the missing artwork. And oh, there we go, it's the Centimaru, that's right. So this is the one that you search pacifistas from your deck. Nice artwork, all, in her, all those alternate arts are, are pretty nice. We'll pop them up to the side there and we're gonna go on to uh, volume four. We've got a few of those, let's pop that there so I don't lose that in the rubbish. So volume four, volume four, also four different cards. Now, can I remember what's in them? No, I can't, but we'll show our memory will be jolted as we open up this one right here. I believe it's also some alternate arts. There you go, the Tashigi. So that's not a bad one right now because Tashigi definitely does see some play in uh, pretty much anything black, Sakazuki's on, uh, or on or near the top right there. So yeah, that's not a bad one. Let's bust into this next one. So we wouldn't mind getting multiples of the, the Tashigi there. Oops, as I'm dragging the cards across the desk. Next, we've got a Mihawk. So this is the 
reprint of the starter deck one, the the when attacking, draw two, trash two. So that's a nice looking artwork. We've got Peronus in the background right there. And we've got one, well, we've got, oh, we've got two more of those. So we've got two more. We can maybe get a play set or play set, one of each of them. Let's shimmy that down there. Let's see if we can get one of each again for you guys today. Hopefully we can. But if we get any repeats, the, okay, the Okiku. This is the OPO1 Okiku. The same Okiku as the, the Judge one that we've got at the back there. So the exact same effect there. Just yeah, nice looking artwork there. So we've got those three. Okay, last one. If we're following the same trend, we will be able to see all the artworks here today, which is nice. Hopefully that continues with, continues with our uh, Volume 5. I think I've got four of the Volume 5. All right, oh, it's the Brook. Yes, the Brook. This, I really do like this artwork of Brook right here. So the winner ones for this, I don't have a winner pack of volume four. Basically the winners are these kind of artworks, but they're kind of colored to their background. Um, so the brook is just all red with that artwork behind it. Doesn't have um, those other stuff behind it. It's got a big winner stamp on it as well. So that's nice to see, got one of each of those there. Now we're gonna move on to our volume five. So the volume uh, three winners, basically the same kind of idea as the volume four, the same artworks, just a giant big winner stamp. We've opened uh, a Nami and an um, Bonnie in our shorts. So go check them out there. So we've got the Kaido here. So this is a reprint of the Rush Kaido out of the starter deck there. Has a nice little treasure cup stamp on there as well. Not bad looking artwork. I definitely prefer the original artwork for that one. Pack number two for volume five. We've got ourselves the the uh, Rush Luffy starter deck reprint Luffy there. So yeah, nice to see that all these ones have the Treasure Cruise stamp on them. I don't know what I said. Did I say Treasure Cruise? Um, oh, it looks like I only actually have, yeah, I only have three of the volume five. Hopefully the, because I have a winner pack of it as well. Hopefully the winner pack will be the other artwork. Um, so we can see all of them. But let's see what we're getting here as number three. We get the Captain Kid. So this is the blocker from Starter Deck. The, the one that you can attach a Don, swing and get to restand at the end of the turn. Once again, like I think I like the original artworks for all of those. Right, volume one winner pack right here. Let's see what we can get out of that. So we just had... Um, the one pack from that we got the um, the law. Let's see if we can get something different there. Called oh, the Yamato. That's not a bad one at all. So nice looking artwork there. So the volume ones all have fairly similar kind of style there. They have that's the main artwork on the card, and then it has yeah, the the blend of the winner stamp going on right there. So that's nice to see. We'll pop that up the back. Now we do have a volume two. Winner pack. So we're missing volume three and four winner packs for the video today, but we have them in shorts. So go check them out. Well, I actually might not have any winner volume fours. You have to think about it. But there, so we've got the Frankie as the uh, um, winner pack of volume two right there. So yeah, nice big winner stamp Frankie going on right there. We'll pop that up the back, and now we're going to go on to our store winner volume 5 pack. Let's see what we get out of here. So we've seen the Kaido, the Kid, and the uh, Luffy. Let's see what this one brings us here. Or oh, the Crocodile. So this is the other artwork right there. So the winner is holographic on this one, which is, I believe is a first. All the others haven't been holographic. But that's nice to see. So we get to see all the artworks right there. Um, becomes a bit of like a borderless kind of thing if you compare it to uh, the kid there. So just, yeah, fills out the borders, become holographic, which is cool. We'll pop the crocodile on the back. So nice to see you getting all the artworks right there. Now, moving on to the next lot of prizing. We have the store champion pack. So this, you win one of these packs in the giveaway. The, this is the, the pack here that you win off to the side. So we'll have a look at those. When um, the big prize, I guess, for that event was this guy right here, the kid. 
uh, per the kid uh, so the reprint of a promo nice ultimate artwork I really do like the artwork of this super pump that we managed to take out the win and, and get that but we'll look at these uh, packs right here I believe these are all just reprints ultimate arts as well um, there's six different ones here so we'll see hopefully see three of the six you guys will get uh, another one of those six in the giveaway does everyone else get anxiety when I uh, cut the top of those packs right there? Uh, all right, so we've got a Jozu, which is a 2K counter. Um, yeah, nice to see there. That's actually, Jozu's been a prize card for a few different things. Um, some regional prizing, which we'll actually have a look at that card in a moment as well. So yeah, nice to see that. We'll pop a Jozu up the back. And Jozu, you trying to take a nap there, mate. You're a bit tired. Um, all right, next pack here. Let's... Snip the top off of this one. And let's see what we get out of this next one. We've got ourselves a pearl. So this is the blocker from OPO3. Nice looking artwork there. Not a super playable one, that's for sure, but nice to have that there. I think the most playable out of all of the ones out of this lot is actually the Jozu. Um, but we'll see what we get in the next one. So the last one that we have is another pearl. So we get two pearls, one Jozu right there. Hopefully um, you guys get some good luck out of whoever wins that pack. Uh, let us know what you get when you do win there. Yeah, moving on to the last bit of prizing stuff here. So we've got some event packs, uh, a regional participant pack, the Dom pack, uh, all these come from participating in the, the in-person regionals, which is, yeah, really cool to, to have. We had a few locally here in Australia. Managed to play, I only played one for OPO4, um, and we managed to hit top 64, which I'll show you what the, the prizing is. It's basically the Jozu we were talking about before. Like, a little bit sad, we made a misplay that could have Got us into top 32 there. But yeah, that's the Jozu that you get for coming top 64 right there. So yeah, still in his little sleeve that he comes in right there. Yeah, cool to have that there. But yeah, once again, a little bit bummed that we yeah, we possibly could have, not a guarantee that if we didn't make that misplay, we would have made um, top 32 to get the, the extra prizing there. But would have made it a little bit easier for us to get there. But you live and you learn, don't you? So we are opening an event pack. So a few different promos coming out of this one right here. So all Sanji, there we go, the cover card. Sanji, really nice. I like this artwork of Sanji. So cool to have that there. We've got one more of these event packs to open. Let's see if we can get, I believe the other promo you get here is the Frankie promo that buffs everything. I believe that's the other promo coming out of here. I think there's a couple of other cards uh, in here as well. So let's see what we get. So we've got another Sanji, not complaining right there. There's definitely some decks we were play testing where we used a couple of those. So we are happy to have a few of those right there. Now, we've got a participant pack and then the Don pack left to go. So let's go over the participant pack and then we'll look at the Don pack to wrap us all up right there. Let's snip off the top here. Let's have a look at what we've got here. We're gonna have a, a Kurubi. Nice participant stamp stuck on there. Nice alternate art of the Kurubi right there. Really good looking artwork. Probably not a very playable card. If you're playing um, Arlong, you do see some people playing this one right here um, to, to help arrest things. But yeah, not, not the greatest one out of there, but not definitely not the worst. Right, the Dons. I love these Dons, I actually have uh, all of them, which I can show off to you uh, after this. But let's see which one we get. The volume, this is what, the volume two. The volume two, I think this one you get the Zorro um, and a few others. I think the Zorro is the best one um, out of the volume two. And we get ourselves a Jinbei Don. So yeah, not a bad one right there. Oh, one thing as well I forgot to show off is the, the gold don. This is also you get for participating um, in the regional event. So you get a nice gold don right there. Now, for those that want to see all the don, uh, alternate don, we got them right here. So that's the, the Zoro there. We've got the Brook, the Jinbei, which we just pulled. That's the Nami, the Chopper, the Sanji, the Luffy, the 
Frankie and the Usopp, Sniperkin, and Robin right there. I believe Robin's actually probably the most valuable one right now. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway to win yourself some store championship, some, some store championship stuff and some sleeves. English has gone out the window. Must be late. Yep, it's late. <laughs> but thank you so much for checking out the video. Stay beautiful, and we'll see you all in the next one.